Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is Goat Latin. A sentence S is given composed of words separated by spaces. Each word consists of lowercase and uppercase letters. We would like to convert the sentence to Goat Latin. Here are the rules for Goat Latin. If the word begins with a vowel, we append ma to the end of the word. So apple becomes apple ma. If a word begins with a consonant, we remove the first letter, append it to the end, then add ma. So goat becomes otgama. We add one letter a to the end of each word per its word index in sentence, starting with one. So the first word will get one a added to the end. The second word gets two a's, so on and so forth. So the approach to this problem, it's fairly straightforward. There's no tricks. There's nothing special about this. Really, this, these kind of problems are just to get your reps in and remember your functions well. And honestly, I like these problems to have some once in a while because they make me feel not as dumb as I usually do. So what we're going to do, and what's going to be approached, let's first take our sentence and we're going to split it into a, a list. So we'll split S into a list. And now that we have that, we're going to iterate through our list. And we're going to check to see if the first letter is a vowel or not. Check vowel or not. And if it is, then we um, add, just add ma to the end of the word, or we restructure it, where we add the first letter to the end and then add ma's. So this, we have to restructure the word and also add ma's. We'll also have to keep track of where we are in this loop to know how many a extra a's to end at the end. So extra a's. All right, so once we've done that, really all there's left to do is do our join method and return a string joined by all spaces. So join by spaces. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and try to start coding this out. Let's first split our string using the split method. And we don't need to pass anything because it'll automatically split it by spaces. We also want to set a output where I'm going to make that an empty list. And this is where we're going to append our restructured word. So let's loop through our list for what I'm going to do is keep track of the index number i word in enumerate s. We want to first check to see if it's a vowel or not, right? So why don't we use a dictionary or a set to check to see if the first word, first letter, I should say, is a vowel. So to do that, let's just make a string, say a e i o u, a e i o u, oops, and we'll convert this to a list and then convert it to a set. And this will allow us to check whether the first letter is a vowel or not. So if, let's first check to see if it's a vowel, word, first letter in vowels, then it's a vowel, so we don't do any restructuring to the word, we just add it to our output with the ma at the end. So take our word, we'll add ma, and we'll add another a multiplied by our index number. But we have to add one because it's zero indexed, right? So what we'll have to do is say i plus one. Now, otherwise, it's going to be a consonant, right? So we have to restructure the word. So that's not as difficult as it sounds. All we need to do is do some splicing. We'll take the everything except the first character, and we'll add it to the first character, really. So this is first character on, and this is up to the first, or I should say second, in first second index number. Uh, so that will take care of that, and we'll be adding our extra a's. So once we do that, our output should have all our all our words. So really, all there's left to do is return using the string join method our output. So I guess we can get rid of our comments. And let's go ahead and submit that. Okay, so it looks good. Let's let's submit it and accept it. So there's variations to how you could solve this. You could save on memory. You could um, you know not do the split method and instead check to see if there's a space or not. But basically, every approach is some variation of this this approach. Um, so I, I think this is good enough. All right, so hope that helps. Thanks for watching my video. Remember, uh, do not trust me. I know nothing.